morning. You're watching Amusaholics, and today we're at the Woburn Safari Park with Go Ape. Yeah. Yeah, so we've come to check out the safari park mainly for Go Ape. Um, we love a bit of Go Ape, don't we? Yeah. We're swinging from the trees, so we're looking forward to doing that later on. But first, uh, we're going to do the drive through safari and also then the walk around safari as well, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's um, had a good, great day for it as well, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, it's looking really nice and sunny. The wind's a little bit brisk, but it's, you know, it's for February, it's a really, really nice day to be doing it. Yeah. So, great to get out. Yeah, so, yeah. App apparently, from the uh, Go Ape, um, when you're doing Go Ape, you can see some of the animals, hopefully. So, yeah, so we'll try and get some footage of that later. And then when we're swinging from the trees, won't we? Yeah. And yeah, so the park's open today, 9.30 until 4pm, with the last entry to the safari being 3pm. So yeah, we're going to go on now, have a look around the walkthrough safari and see what we can find. Yeah, let's go. So here we have a map, the Woburn Safari Park. We're down the bottom by the Tarmac Car Park over on the left. You are here. So then we're going to head in and uh, have a look around. As we head in, there's a nice uh, spot to get some food and drink and have a sit and over on the left yeah, you've got the cafe itself and then on the right hand side some toilets just past the toilets we've got a uh, bouncy castle for use for under fives good if you bring in younger children pedal Kelly pedal <laughs> <laughs> Good exercise. Yeah, we've got our dragon boat. See here, out on the lake. Get uh, no extra charge for this. You can jump on board. It's part of standard admission. We've been told we've got 10 minutes today. Don't know if that's based on how busy the park is today or just in general. But uh, yeah, 10 minutes around the lake. No additional charge or part of admission on our cool dragon boat. Heave ho! <laughs> That's all still, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm a bit worried. My boat's a little bit, uh, a little bit wet on my side by the pedals. So hopefully I'm not sinking. <laughs> Lovely day though. Great, uh, great chance to get out on the lake and enjoy the weather. Here we are coming into the landing. See so all the other different boats you can get over there as well. Next to the coffee shack. The afters are after the keep of some more breakfast. <laughs> They're loving it. Here we have the mongoose. Don't think it's a common meerkat. Mannerisms seem different and there's not a pack of them. Somebody's got some nectar for breakfast. And looks very happy with himself. <laughs> We're not interrupting you, are we? <laughs> We're having a look. <laughs> Here we have an unusual fellow. Say, Dusky lorikeet, but not quite so multicolored. Look more like a, a sunrise or a sunset. He's got red eyes. He's just cleaning his feathers. There we have an agouti. He might look like a statue, but he's very much alive. He's just pretending, aren't you? There you go. Look. Hello. Good morning. It's also part of a small monkey enclosure. Here they go. Look at He does, doesn't he? He's huge. Doesn't feel like moving. He's pretty incredible though, isn't he? He's huge. Just for a bit of perspective, let's uh, see how just how big he is. Zoom out a bit. Yeah, so there's a mop bucket there. It's way bigger than the mop bucket. <laughs> okay, we have a fine selection of goats. <laughs> I 
And I've got mystery goat up here, look. <laughs> Here we have the cafe, it's got excellent views overlooking the animals. Over here you can see the penguins down below. Hi Kaylee. It's really nice in here actually. Here we have the beautiful red panda, one of my favourite animals. There she is, just sticking her head out of a little house. They're mostly active at dawn and dusk, so they do like to have a little chill out during the day. Don't like to get too busy. Oh, maybe I'm wrong, here she goes. along the train, we can see the alpacas and the llamas. Look at them all. See the locomotive crosses the safari path. Just next to the train station, got the boat lake that we were on earlier. Quite quiet still at the moment. It's over by the penguin kiosk, we've got the safari hangout. And it's just a little bit of an indoor picnic area. Abandoned today because it's quite a nice day. But uh, if it was raining, for example, you could come in here and take shelter. Hello, Mr. Goat. How are you? <laughs> Just minding his own business. <laughs> they got a nice little play area for the goats. That's a bit unusual. It's nice, though. A little petting area. There's a donkey helping himself to some lunch. Nice bit of straw there for you. Good sir. For the lemurs. Ring tail lemur. One of here having a hop. It's feeding time over by the sea lions. They're very excited. We're looking forward to some dinner. Swimming for dinner. The wallabies. There he goes. The whole bunch of wallabies having dinner there. It's a dinner party for the wallabies. There's a big one over there. Yeah, he's got a huge horn, hasn't he? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's a massive rhino. He's a big boy. There he is. Yeah, they're incredible, aren't they? Look at these guys over here. They're cute. I don't think they are. No, I can't remember. I've seen them before, but I can't put my finger on the name. Well, they've got horns. Yeah, seems to be enjoying the sunshine. And the grass. I think it's an elan. Elan? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Possibly. Yeah, they're very close. I'm no expert, but it does look like an elan. Oh, they're very cute. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. They're quite big though. You think they're cute, but they're. Uh... <laughs> they're all big, yeah. He's looking straight up, me look. Yeah. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> we just come say hello. 
<laughs> got the Eland oh, here. I got the Eland house. Oh, he's right next to the car. Hi guys. Oh my goodness, that is close. <laughs> Sorry, we don't mean to invade your privacy. <laughs> <laughs> We're just passing through. They're very cute. I like giant donkeys with horns almost, aren't they? Yeah. So over on the right here, we've got some elephants. Yeah, so he's having his breakfast. Mm -hmm. Picking, picking a bit of grass, maybe, or something in the grass. Yeah. Can't quite see from here, but oh, I think he's having a bit of a yawn. <laughs> Oh, they're lovely, aren't they, elephants? Yeah, this is a nice big, nice big enclosure for them. Here's a tiger. Yeah, he's having a march. <laughs> Got lots of red kites. Yeah, I've never seen this many red kites in one place ever. <laughs> they're swarming everywhere. You see, if you, you see the occasional one on the M40 on the way down to Thorpe Park, but there's loads of them. So we've got the bear here. Yeah. He's oh, very bummed to us though. Yeah. He's feeling antisocial this morning. We're disturbing <laughs> his Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he moving? Oh, oh, he's very cute. He's turned around a little bit. Yeah, he is curled up, but I don't think he's a massive bear. He's a big bear. Yeah, he's up on the march again. We found the lions. Yeah, that's the one down sitting on the line in the grass closest to us. And he's munching his breakfast. Yeah, I think. That's yeah, why the kites are here. They're yeah. trying to get the. They're trying to the pick meat. away at it. Yeah. Trying to get the meat. He's already finished. He's the one behind's already finished his breakfast. Looks like he's got a nice big juicy steak. The other one's finished his breakfast and he's got up and he's walking off now. <laughs> Heading past the Lion Breakfast Club. <laughs> All our friends, the red kites. Oh, they're the jolly old time up here, aren't they? Kites circling, trying to get some food. Yeah, the kites aren't silly. They know the uh, they know the breakfast is about. Trying to scavenge a little bit. This ostrich here is having a dance. He is, isn't he? <laughs> the dance of the wild ostrich. Quite cool, actually. I don't know if I've ever seen him do that before. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. He's done. They are Ancol Castle. Ancol. A N K O L E. Apologies for the uh, poor pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two-headed giraffe. <laughs> so it is. It's quite funny, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, they're nice. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. One, two, yeah, three, everywhere. four, five, six, seven, eight with the one in the other paddock that you can't quite see. <laughs> the guy's trying to drive. The monkey's still on the car. He's trying to drive off, but the monkey's still on the back. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind me. Hey, the monkeys are still on the car. He's like, I'm going to escape. <laughs> they seem to like, I mean, it, it could just be coincidence because there's so many of them, but they seem, they seem to like dark coloured cars. Because <laughs> there was another one I just saw jump on another car and it's a very similar grey sort of colour. Look at this monkey on the guy's car. He's like, I'm just chilling here. Yeah. Just, uh, just hang in. <laughs> Like it. I don't mind a lift round the park. Thank you very much. Oh. Oh, itchy arm. <laughs> Brilliant, that is. Here we have the bongos in the distance. Keeping well away from the road and all those mischievous monkeys. <laughs> Going past the llamas. Llamas and alpacas. <laughs> they are sweet, aren't they? They are cute. So here at the Woburn Safari training camp. Caddy's doing her first zip line. Here she comes. Woo! Professional. Very nice. 
All right, so here we are on the first course, proper course of the day. The Woburn Safari Park Go Ape. So we're gonna hook onto the safety gear for the ladder first. Make sure I don't fall off. Okay, here we go. One foot at a time. Oh my word, this is a damn bit higher than the last one. Tarzan swing already. Fabulous. Woo! Here comes Katie on the Tarzan swing. Woo! Don't grab straight away. That's it. Float back. Turn around a bit. <laughs> you got it. Nice and easy to get us started. Quite some height there. Ah, nice up here. Ah, first serious zip line coming up. Not sure if I'm going to have to perform as well as I've done on the first one. We will see. Here we are, our first proper zip line of the day. It's a lot higher, a lot higher from up here than it looked from down there. But uh, here we go. Here's nothing. Woo! Going to drag my heels and then in reverse. Woo! <laughs> that was fine. Here comes Kaylee. The waving of the leg technique seems to work great. The waving of the legs. I need to master the waving of the legs next time, don't I? Oh, Fair play. Whew. I'm going to trek through the forest from zone one to zone two, or should I say course one to course two. Here we are at course two. This time Kelly's going to go first, just hooking herself on. There she goes. Easy does it. Okay, course two, here we go. This looks like the biggest uh, rope ladder yet. <clears throat> Literally climbing a tree. I'm, I'm not, not moving on this because I Keep it up, Kayla, you got this. Here we go. Ooh, pretty high up here. Ooh, uphill now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, rude decision there, Kayla. Yes, extremely difficult. I'm not, definitely not going extreme. Yeah, those, uh, <laughs> those rings look majorly difficult. So uh, we'll take the slightly less difficult path. Make sure we've got plenty of stamina left at the end of the course. You got this. It's about crossing at the right time, I guess. Easy does it. Here we go. Hawk in the flank, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I could be in the circus. 
It's wobbly. One plank to the next is hard, man. Ooh, Kaylee's taking a zip line first this time. Oh, yay! You got this, Kaylee. <laughs> oh, he got nothing. See you on the other side. Good luck. Woo! That was my turn. See if I can uh, continue the theme. Try and stay facing forwards. Here we go. Whoa! Nope, probably not. Woo! We reached the hydration station. I provide a little cone and some uh, a bottle of some fresh water for you. Start of main course three or course four if you count the training. I really wish we could have some escalators. Yeah. <laughs> some escalator rope ladders. That'd be cool. <laughs> Whew, here we are at the top. And we're at the goat crossing. Whew, this one looks tricky. Here goes nothing. Whoa. Here comes Kelly on the goat crossing. Oh, Katie, I think you was a goat in a previous life. That was that was amazing. <laughs> Took me forever. You did really well there. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go on the half noughts and crosses. Ooh. And I made it. Not so bad this one with the uh, nice the lines to hold on to. Soft on your feet. Yeah, <laughs> nice wide platforms. Great view from up here there. This one is difficult. On your arms. Yeah, it is hard work that one. They said difficult and they meant it on this one. <laughs> We're on the rail track. Nice easy one. Oh, tricky that it looks in the middle there. Ooh. <sighs> Ooh, made it. You never get in the rail track. Not too bad that one. The Turtle Bridge. This looks hard. Oh. This is tricky as Woo! Blue my neck. Ah, still made it there. Oh. There's another look at the turtle bridge. This time Caddy's giving it a go. Ah, oh, like a pro. Nearly. Nearly got a bit too cocky then. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> Here she comes, my favourite little monkey. Oh, still good though. I keep going too fast. A zip line straight away on this one. Yeah, just going straight over to the bottom pole. Let's go. Okay, here we go on the next zip line. I'm going to be right messy. I nearly course corrected that one. Nearly. Okay, here we go. What we think might be the last course. 
pretty tall uh, tall ladder leading to another ladder on the next platform by the look of it let's get up here and, and have a look it, could, it gets tough doesn't it climbing up the rope ladder yeah. towards the top you got this <laughs> our next challenge is the zigzag bridge here goes nothing Stepping very carefully. Just trying to get a bit faster. Way! Woo! Confidence. Nice. Zag bridge. Nicely done. Yeah, like a pro. <laughs> so we've got another climb in the form of a parrot ladder. Actually, I think this will probably be easier than the normal ladder because at least it doesn't move. It's like climbing the mainsail. Woo. Okay, so we've decided to do the Tibetan Bridge. It's classed as the easy route, but uh, one of the important things about physical exercise woo, is knowing your limits and trying not to exceed those so you can cause injury and, you know, just ruins the fun. So <laughs> this Tibetan Bridge is awesome anyway. Ah. Hup. 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 Yeah, Tibetan Bridge is really cool, but it is a little bit more tricky than you first think, isn't it? Because it literally hugs you as you walk through it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's very cool, though. Someone's brave in the Tarzan swing. We're not quite up to the extreme route today, but we did the Tarzan swing earlier, and now we'll see how they get on with this one. Concentration. That's a bit, it's a bit long, big gaps for my short legs, that was. <laughs> How's wires cross treating you, Kaylee? Fine. Fine. It's tricky business. It's fun though, isn't it? Yep, that's the knack. Whew. Oh, okay. I think this is our final zip line. Think, yeah. We think. <laughs> and uh, this might be my last chance to get it right. So let's see if I can land the right way around this time. Here we go. No, I'm going round again. That was cool. Here comes Kaylee on the final zip line. Woo! Like a pro. Till the end. <laughs> <laughs> it just comes up on you, doesn't it, at the end? Aww. Hashtag smashed it. What a great course. Well, we've drove, walked, and even zip lined through the Woburn Safari Park today. Yeah. And what a lovely day it's been. Yeah, a bit exhausted now, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. But, um, no, it's been a really, really good, fun, fun packed day, hasn't it? You know, full on. We've been, we didn't manage to go around um, and see like all the animals here, I believe, but we didn't like do everything. Do we? So we didn't go through the wallaby walk and we didn't go through the lemur walk. Yeah, that's right. We did see the lemurs and we did see the wallabies, but sadly we weren't able to make it until um, through the walks yeah. uh, because of doing go out in the middle of the day. So we did the drive through safari first at 9.30 as soon as it opened. Uh, then we booked the go out for 1pm, which we then did. Really enjoyed that as well. Yeah. And um, 
but yeah, unfortunately, a lot of things we didn't realise. Quite a few of the things close a little bit before closing, well, don't half, they? Half three, uh, so. Well, three o'clock actually. The uh, the farmyard with the goats and that sort of thing. The walk through there actually closes at three. So you just need to be aware that if you are coming a bit later on, or if you're doing the go open in the middle of the day, uh, to allow time for those things as well. Yeah. And, it, it, it uh, is open later in the summer and the spring as well, so yeah, that's it's right. To bear in mind. But we have benefited from it being a bit quieter, haven't we? Yeah. So it's been a benefit uh, coming in this time of year, and also obviously with the theme parks closed and that sort of thing, it's lovely to have something to do, isn't it? Yeah, isn't to get it? out, and it's, it's a really good bit of exercise, actually. <laughs> yeah, I forgot how tough it was to go out. Yeah. Um, especially with the old system um, yeah. of pulleys and, and sort of straps. So this is one where you have to do, you have two um, clamps Cal if you like. That's right and you have to attach one first and then the other one and detach one then attach the other one constantly yeah. um so it's a little bit more work uh, and a little bit more dangerous because if you must stay attached at all times obviously yeah. um we do prefer the newer system don't we i think yeah i think it's a bit faster for going around on that as well yeah, and I think it's better for, for kids. I mean, obviously, um, they, you've got to supervise your kids if you bring kids here uh, to the go ape, and obviously, it's a little, you know, you've got to make sure they're doing what they should be doing. So it's a little bit more stressful for parents, perhaps, yeah. if you've got to worry about them, you know, attaching and staying attached at all times. But um, I would say I wouldn't let that discourage you. Yeah. Um, they do go through it in quite a lot of de quite a lot of detail in the train area before you start. You have a practice where it's nice and safe. Yeah, if you book go out tickets for here as well, um, you do actually get discounted safari tickets. So you can get the road safari and the walk through uh, foot safari for fifteen pound each. At the time we, of filming, yeah. We, we thought it was good, you know, good value. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, it's literally it's literally half the price if you do it with the go ape. Yeah. Um, and I guess they probably factored in the fact that obviously you do lose a couple of hours to doing the go ape. Yeah. Um, yeah. But but yeah, definitely worth it. That's definitely the best way to do it if you want to do the go ape. Yeah, definitely. And you love the animals as well. Definitely get the combi ticket or so say buy the entry to the park with your go ape admission, and then it's a lot cheaper, isn't it? Yeah, I managed to beat Adam uh, going forward on all the zips. <laughs> yes, I was rubbish on the zip lines. I mean, I still had a great time, but. Uh, <laughs> As you saw from the footage, there was lots of side on uh, action going on there on the zip lines, but still thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, remember to dig my heels in on the way down. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, yeah, I would still recommend it by all means, and uh, it's been a really good day. It's fantastic, it? I definitely want to come back. Yeah, by all means. So, well. If you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe it means a lot to us it really helps yep. the channel out so we'd appreciate that if you have any comments or, uh, or questions then please post them below and we'd yeah, love to try and answer also anything else that you want to see us do anywhere you want to see us go maybe we can try and see if we can fit it in yeah at some point that would be good <laughs> that's right well until next time we hope you get out and explore amusement parks and more see you next see you time soon.